William Shakespeare once wrote, what's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. But that was 500 years ago, and the bard never met Dan Snyder. Snyder, the owner of the NFL team, the Washington Redskins, is refusing to change the name of his football franchise, even though historically speaking, Redskins has been an offensive and derogatory term for centuries. The true origin of the word Redskins has been lost to history, but some sickening evidence points at it originally being used to refer to the bounty paid for the bloody red scalps of Native Americans. A proclamation by King George II of Great Britain in 1755 commanded His Majesty's subjects to embrace all opportunities of pursuing, captivating, killing, and destroying all Indians. And it paid well. In today's dollars, the colonial government shelled out $7,200 for the scalp of a child, $9,000 for the scalp of a woman, and $18,000 for the scalp of an adult male. So think about it. You could legally get rich by slaughtering redskins. By 1826, the word redskins reached the mainstream through the release of James Fenimore Cooper's classic novel, The Last of the Mohicans. Something that Daniel Day-Lewis probably wasn't aware of when he moistened panties all over the world by playing Hawkeye in the movie. <laughs> then, in 1863, we get the first direct reference to collecting bounty for Redskins. The Daily Republican newspaper in Winona, Minnesota published the following announcement. The state reward for dead Indians has been increased $200 for every Redskin sent to purgatory. This sum is more than the dead bodies of all the Indians east of the Red River are worth. Which is why when Dan Snyder says this, a redskin is a football player, a redskin is our fans, he sounds like a total fucking idiot. <laughs> Snyder seems to believe that because his father was a historian, he gets to rewrite his own version of history and claim redskins as a positive term. And the argument that there's some sort of great tradition regarding the Washington Redskins name is ridiculous. The franchise has only been around for 77 years. Now, Betty White has underwear older than that. <laughs> but no matter what is happening in Snyder's imagination, by 1937, when the Washington Redskins got their name, we were already moving toward the golden years of the Hollywood Western, with the word Redskins being used by cowboy heroes and cavalry officers to refer negatively to Native Americans during a time of war. Furthermore, taking offense to the name is hardly a new thing. It was in 1968, as part of the Civil Rights Movement, that a resolution by the National Congress of American Indians first publicly protested the use of the word. And thankfully, some people started listening. <laughs> the University of Utah Redskins voluntarily became the Utes in 1972. The Miami University Redskins became the Red Hawks in 97. And the Southern Nazarene University Redskins became the Crimson Storm in 98. And as a direct result of protests from Native American groups, or through being moved by common decency, 28 high school sports teams in 18 states have dropped Redskins from their name. Meanwhile, lost in the depths of his own asshole, <laughs> Snyder just doesn't get it. It's just historical truths, and I like them to understand, as I think most do, that the name really means honor, respect, Snyder told ESPN's John Barr. But in a rare example of a government entity getting ahead of social change, on June 18, 2014, the United States Patent and Trademark Office revoked six trademarks held by the Washington Redskins. They ruled that the word is offensive to Native Americans, saying this could be demonstrated, quote, by the near complete drop off in usage of Redskins as a reference to Native Americans beginning in the 1960s. Ultimately, as inevitable as the Miami Dolphins sucking this year, Dan Snyder will eventually have to bow to public pressure and change the name of his team. So the next step is to come up with a viable alternative. Well, a team name should reflect the demographics and nature of the city in which it resides. Washington, D.C. is the seventh largest metropolitan area in the nation, and it has a majority black population. Therefore, in keeping with Snyder's way of thinking, we here at 4TT News have come up with a new name for the team that really makes sense and reflects the ethnicity and urban culture of the city. The Washington N-Words. We've even designed a new logo for the team. What do you think? Inappropriate? Disgusting? Racist? It is, but it's not much different from their current logo, and it'll scare the bejesus out of those pussies playing for the New England Patriots. <laughs> if you agree that Washington should change their team name, write something in the comments section below. If we get 10,000 or more, we'll print each and every comment, then hand deliver them to Dan Snyder's office. And of course, we'll make a video of the delivery for YouTube. I'm Steve Burke with 4TT News. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for new videos daily. Thank <laughs> you.